this is Raf doing a brief overview of the Mako Flying Wing and APM running Arduplane 3.3. Been having a lot of fun with this wing and excited to show you guys what it's all about. Let's take a look. This FPV kit includes two domes, a clear and slightly tinted one. Expect to scratch them very easily. And unfortunately, I have not been able to find a place to order them separately. So I would highly suggest keeping this plastic on for your maiden flights. One of my favorite things about this wing is how easy it assembles. One word of caution, these retention clips. They use self-tapping screws, so my only concern is how many times they'll actually be usable before they break. This is the PNP version, which means ESCs, servos, and motor are included. Um, here's a shot of the servo and linkage. Uh, for my taste, this linkage is on the flimsy side. I really don't like this attachment here, which I actually switched out to something else a little more sturdy. Um, there's a good amount of play, actually, um, so I definitely didn't like that. All right, now we're looking at a fully built Mako with all the electronics. Uh, let's go over each individual one right now. I chose to not put anything on the wings. That makes it a lot easier to take it apart. No wires, just one for the, each servo and you're done. Um, we have our airspeed sensor, 1.3 transmitter, 800 milliwatt. We have RFD 900 for telemetry and our GPS. Additionally, we have easy UHF here for control, and I'm actually going to zoom in now to show you the APM setup. Taking a peek inside, first we look at the APM, which we mounted as far back as possible, which gave us the most flexibility for different types of batteries. All of our power items are on the right side, starting with the ESC. 3DR power module and 12 volt and 5 volt BC, which powers our FPV equipment and charges our Mobius. Here is our airspeed sensor. Tucked underneath is the Minimo SD, and I've added a strobe light for night flying. Also, we had some issues with video noise, so we added an LC filter here and also a ferrite ring from the lead coming out of the ESC into the APM. This cleared up all of our issues. For the camera setup, I chose a Mobius for HD recording and a security cam for FPV. Why two cameras? Well, I'm just not a fan of flying through the Mobius live feed. Also, when mounting your camera, put it as close to the dome as possible to avoid glare. So I mentioned before, I wasn't terribly happy with the control linkage, so I actually swapped them out for something a little beefier with a nice little rubber band. No more play here at all. The last few items we want to go over are the motor and prop combination and batteries. This kit comes with a 2200 kV motor and a 6x4 prop. Additionally, I tried a 6x4.5 prop, which gave a slight increase in speed and amp usage but a negligible amount. I've also been flying these 22 and 2100 three cell batteries, giving me about 13 to 15 minutes, and a 2600 three cell battery, which is giving me about 18 to 20 minutes, depending on wind. So let's go outside and see what this thing's about.
couple tips for your maiden flight. Um, as mentioned, you're definitely going to want to have it a little bit nose heavy for the first flight. Um, I personally have made two of these and both of them needed a good amount of the elevator. So I would suggest trimming that up a little bit. Um, you don't need to throw this with full force. In fact, I've seen a couple of people throw it with too much force and it basically throws it into a spin and it goes straight to the ground. Um, nice and easy with full throttle will get you off the ground painlessly. Alright, it's a pleasure showing you guys the Mako. Uh, please subscribe and uh, we'll see you soon.